Hey guys, this is my new amplifier. It's a Yamaha 677VX model. It's 160 watts, uh, 7.2 channel surround amplifier. And I ju just bought it from uh, Amazon. It's currently a best seller. And I wanted to measure, I measured the radiation before. I was thinking that it emits a uh, wireless especially wireless but I was mistaken uh, I measured it for I'm, I'm gonna do it right now here's my gigahertz meter and let's set it to zero and you can hear the there's no changes uh, currently it measures like 4 microwatts uh, per square meter of high frequency fields and here uh, I'm gonna show you on the TV there's like settings here set up and you go below you go to network and you can check wireless you can enable wireless and it's not gonna radiate at all because i'm gonna tell you later why let's put it back to wired go out let's go out and uh, i was checking the other guy's video on uh, youtube he had like a den on amplifier and he had to go like me inside the the settings uh, and disable the Wi-Fi otherwise it would it was radiating all the time so but this one this uh, machine I can disable now the meter because there's nothing going on turning it off turning it on even though I set it up to enable the wireless the problem, the the good stuff, and I suspect that this is the same for all the other Yamaha amplifiers that have Wi-Fi by default. The good thing about it that the antenna and the source of the Wi-Fi is not inside the inside the housing, but it's here. You can just connect the small antenna like that, and that is the source of all the Wi-Fi radiation and you just screw it on and then when you have this antenna the amplifier starts emitting uh, the radiation Wi-Fi through this antenna so there's nothing hidden inside the inside the housing and if you don't enable if you don't screw on this antenna which I haven't you don't get any Wi-Fi radiation in your room and this is like really a good thing you see I have like LAN cable so I still can use internet without a problem but with no radiation so this goes for high frequency fields this uh, machine is safe there's no radiation if you don't plug the antenna in of course but let's uh, measure the low frequency fields uh, here's my other meter and i'm measuring first let's measure electric fields in volt per meter in range selection is going to be 200 max watts per meter so right now we have like 6.5 volt per meter and when you get closer the emissions increase so we got 12 that's like weak radiation because uh, i suspect that the device is grounded and that's why there's not more electric fields and when we, when we switch to uh, magnetic fields we're measuring right now a Newton Tesla we got 100 here and when we get closer we got over 200 so I'm gonna change the settings to broad we have the 2000 maximum instead of the 200 so let's measure when you're really close you get 1000 Newton Tesla and when you get away 30 so 30 is really low it's minimal magnetic field so you don't have to be careful 
uh, but the rule is like uh, keep this stuff uh, keep all the machines from your body away from your body you have the remote you can have long cables and the uh, speakers don't emit uh, magnetic fields only the amplifier is yes. so same goes for electric fields really minimum nothing almost nothing so you can have speakers around your head around your bed but keep amplifier like at least one two meters away i would i would say don't sleep like near don't you ha don't have your head like really close to the amplifier because there's still a lot of strong magnetic fields here 70 60 so or what you can do like especially at night when you go to sleep just unplug the whole thing all the ampli all the appliances you have tv computer and stuff you're gonna sleep much better uh especially when i'm like i have insomnia i d just disconnect uh, all the devices around my bed and lower the electromagnetic magnetic emissions to really minimum and I can fall asleep like almost immediately but before I had like insomnia and stuff and just this is it and some people are even more sensitive so keep you can I would I would be able to keep the amplifier even there in the corner but why I mean at night you can just uh, disconnect but it's like a nice looking machine and I don't want to be like a weirdo having the amplifier like at the other wall so that's my conclusion uh, uh, I'm really satisfied with this what Yamaha did I almost bought like Danon uh, the Onkyo yeah Onkyo the other guy was measuring Onkyo 636 and uh, he measured that the you have to disable the antenna the emissions from the setup like i showed you before go to the network settings and disable the antenna but this one this one this like really amazing you just the source i've never seen that before the source is in the antenna so you just don't connect it and everything's okay uh so that's from me uh this is alter medicine professional measurement in your home for high and low frequency fields and be sure to subscribe to my video uh, and like or comment I'm gonna answer every question that you have so wish you all the best all the health and love you all thank you for watching this see you next time